going to review the roller shield flashing method B from our uh, detail sheet. For this installation, you're going to need roller shield flashing tape. You're going to need a drill and a paddle, some scissors, a trowel, and roller shield RS. The roller shield flashing tape method B is the easier of the two methods in my opinion. What we're going to do here is cut to the window opening straight and then put a reinforcing corner piece in. So it becomes very easy. You don't need a tape measure. Go ahead and cut your sill piece. And this piece. And then we need to flash into the window corner here. And basically what we're doing, we got our measurement there. We're going to double up on it. Go ahead and cut. Then we'll fold this over. And what we want to do is leave a, a strand or two in the middle so it ends up looking like this so that you can reinforce that corner. With all the Roller Shield products, you'll want to stir it up before use. This pail has been used before, but we'll demonstrate that. And you'll just remove the lid. We're using a drywall paddle and a half inch heavy duty mixer. Uh, one thing you'll see about uh, the Roller Shield RS compared to our competitors products is that this it does have a body to it. And again, we're just stirring it up. We're not adding water or anything. The method B application is a lot easier in my opinion. I like how you can just make up bunches of these for corners and then it becomes very easy to apply. So again, the same technique as with method A, you want to apply a generous amount of the roller shield. To the window opening. Again, make sure you get some into your seams. And again, we'll want to get some onto the face. The good thing about applying it thickly is you can always draw it down and it just goes right through the flashing tape. Okay, now we center our pieces in that opening. And what this is really doing, you're just bridging that gap between the framing and sheathing with reinforcement. And again, make sure it gets wet set into the roller shield. No dry spots. And now we'll get the vertical. This is less critical as far as the application goes from being exactly into the corner of the window. Again, you're embedding it. turning it. And again for our corner here, make sure there's plenty of roller shield there on the wall. And we take our corner piece and just embed it in there. The 
this inside piece is more your critical piece as far as the application goes because you want to make sure it's continuous. And then we'll just draw it down tight on the outside. And that completes that. The reverse angle application is again the same. We'll apply a generous amount of roller shield, in this case to the jams and sills. And onto the face of the wall. Piece. Jam piece on. Then you can put some pressure on here to make sure it folds neatly. shield down there. Then we install our corner piece. And again this corner is the critical one. spots out there. And again, if you cover the tape, you're going to meet the uh, nail sealability requirements for this. And that completes this installation. Mm -hmm.